uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today uh, we will solve this circuit okay today we will solve this circuit and uh, try to find out uh, gain output and input impedance poles and zeros and bode plot okay like this this type of circuit uh, asked in like asked in uh, interview only okay so first uh, you will be given this circuit and then it will be modified into this and then you have to tell all the all these parameters uh, intuitively okay so we will try uh, to solve this circuit intuitively only okay so for this circuit uh, we know that this is a uh, common common source uh, configuration with uh, source degeneration right So we know that for a source degeneration circuit of a MOSFET, uh, overall GM is reduced, right? Uh, overall GM, like we find small signal gain is overall GM times R out, right? So we know that uh, for this type, for this configuration, the overall GM is uh, less, like reduced. And uh, how to find the GM? Uh, we do the we short circuit the output to the ground and find. Uh, find the small signal i out here uh, and uh, uh, and take the ratio of i out by v in so this is our overall gm and to find r out you know that like we know that okay wait not working properly okay uh, for r out we know that we have to uh, apply we have to apply we have to apply like here uh, one minute wait a minute So, uh, uh, so we have to apply a small signal voltage source with respect to ground. Let this is V test, and here we have to measure what is the current, small signal current, uh, coming out of this uh, node. Okay, and we take the ratio of V test by I test. Okay, I test. This is I test. Okay, and we get the uh, overall output resistance, and we do the like all the dependent sources uh, to be uh, grounded okay so this way we can find the uh, uh, overall uh, small signal gain and for this circuit intuitively we know that the uh, gm overall gm is nothing but gm by 1 plus gm rs so this is our overall transconductor and r out is nothing but like if we do neglect channel length modulation means the lambda is zero so r out of this mosfet is infinite so then uh, like overall r out will be nothing but rd only so this is our gain and here there will be a negative sign as this is a common source configuration okay so first you will you have to answer uh, the the question uh, in this uh, like in this like like intuitively like this okay so this this circuit is done like how to find the like uh, how to find uh, output impedance and the overall ac small signal gain okay and for input impedance you know they are like no current can pass through it so our input impedance is nothing but uh, infinity here for this circuit okay so uh, you can uh, like you can tell the interviewer uh, to find uh, like how to find the overall gain and input and output impedance like in this way okay and then the interviewer uh, modify the circuit to this okay this circuit and then uh, he like 
he told that uh, what will be the board plot and poles and zeros so we know that like what will be the like like first uh, let's say what will be the gain okay so gain will be nothing but like it will depend like it will depend on the frequency as there is they are present a capacitor so like the overall source resistance like let's say this is this impedance is rx okay this will be nothing but rs parallel uh, on over uh, scs right so then the gain of this circuit simply reduced to av uh, for this circuit is nothing but minus gm by on plus gm here this will be the rx right so rx into normal rd okay so this will be the gain and uh, to uh, like if it, now now if you solve this uh, solve this equation then you can directly find the poles and zeros okay so this will be like like applying kcl and kvl so this is the on one way this is the one way to find poles and zeros okay now we will try to find intuitively okay poles and zeros so let me draw the circuit again so this is our circuit okay let uh, for uh, for poles uh, let, let uh, we find zero first okay so for zero we know that the output is zero right so intuitively if we make this v out zero okay grounded so and this is a small signal ac ground right so this rd is putting no effect like this is sorted to the ground right so the equivalent circuit and to find zero uh, our V in is present. Okay, so this will be like this. So this is grounded. This is like this. Okay. Now you can see that only on point, like on node, having equivalent capacitance and equivalent resistance. So you can uh, like we can definitely say that this branch is contributing our zero okay so how will be the zero value like the here the equivalent uh, capacitance is cs and equivalent resistance is rs so uh, directly we can say that the zero will be minus on by rs cs so this will be always a left up then zero okay and this will be radian per second okay so this is the on way to find the zero now second way is we know that uh, uh, like when like it will be when v out will be zero like if this impedance or this impedance go to infinity like if this is infinity so like the circuit will look like this right so this is our v out this is our rd so if if this this impedance is infinite like no small signal current can flows through this okay so i is zero so if there is no current so the voltage drop across this rd is also zero so our v out is also zero so if we make like at some frequency this impedance can uh, go to infinity right and they are like this frequency uh, like at this frequency we have a zero so intuitively we can see that if if this impedance goes to infinity so our v out is zero small signal v out is zero so at this frequency like like uh, like uh, 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 at hot frequency this impedance goes to uh, this impedance goes to infinity there is a zero so intuitively we can find that rs parallel on over scs is infinity so here directly we can see that uh, rs equal to minus on over scs okay so there s is at on over rs cs so in this way we can find that zero as well so this will be the same as this right so this is the second way uh, second way and third way is like normal 
doing this KCL and KVLs like in this equation. Okay, so you can find the uh, poles and zeros. So this is the second way, and the third way is normal doing the KCL and KVL. And like now we 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 can see that if the if the RD is also infinity, so then then what will happen? Then this AC small signal current is also zero, right? So if this is infinity, like if this is infinity, so how will be our V out? Like we cannot predict the V out, right? Because uh, this terminal become a floating, so we cannot comment the V out. Okay, so this will be uh, like and and we cannot make the R D infinity, right? Because R D is a finite value and given there, only this this. Impedance can goes blow up to infinity. Okay, so this is how we can find the zero. Uh, okay, let 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 modify the circuit. Uh, okay, okay, let modify the circuit uh, in in this way. Like we have this and we have this. So this is small signal ground and. And this is CS, this is RS, okay. And this is our V, and here this is our V out. Let's say CD and RD. So in this circuit, uh, we have two capacitor and uh, two resistance. So we can see that this 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 impedance can goes up to infinity, okay. But in this case, if 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 this node contributing a zero. In this case, no. Like the fourth way to find a zero is like short circuit the capacitor and uh, see the effect uh, for this uh, short circuit capacitance if the output voltage goes to zero or not. Like what I am saying is like for this capacitor, if we make this short circuit, okay. E uh, like is our output voltage zero? No, right. This is a uh, simply common uh, source configuration with uh, source degeneration. So output not uh, output not zero voltage. Okay. So for this cap, like for this cap, we have a zero. Okay. This is the fourth way. Like we can directly say that if there is a zero or not. Like this is the fourth way we can see. Like if you do the short circuit to the capacitance and see the effect of the of this uh, short circuit capacitance uh, as our output uh, goes to zero or not but in this case we can see that okay okay let 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 do here so one minute so in this case if we do cd short circuit okay then this is ground is a small signal ground so our v out is here so our V out is exactly small signal AC ground, like zero voltage. Okay. So for this CD, we don't have a zero. Okay. So this is how we can see intuitively. Like if if we have like many more capacitors, more than more than one capacitors. Okay. Like we have capacitors, not more than one. We have capacitors, and we have to find uh, the like the capacitance contributing the zero or not. Okay, so what we do? We do the short circuit to the cap and see the output voltage goes to zero or not. If the if if the uh, output voltage goes to zero by after short circuiting the capacitor, this means this capacitor contributing no zero. But if short after short circuiting the capacitance, our output voltage uh, does not goes to zero. So uh, that means the capacitor actually uh, contributing a zero. So this is the fourth way. Okay. Again, okay. Okay. Uh, now, now for the poles. Okay. Now for the poles.
ओके वेट वेट प्लीज वेट ओके सो सो वी हैव डन लाइक लाइक हाउ टू फाइंड द जीरो ओके एंड फाइंड द एसी स्मॉल सिग्नल वोल्टेज गेन ओके एंड फाइंड आउटपुट इंपीडेंस एंड इनपुट इंपीडेंस नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द पोल्स वी नो दैट इफ इफ ए नोड कैरिंग लाइक इफ ए नोड हैविंग uh equivalent uh, capacitor and equivalent resistance with respect to ground there must be a pole okay so in this circuit there is no pole okay but in this circuit we have we have a pole right basically in this circuit board plot will be like this a constant like we are uh, like considering all the parasitens uh, parasitic capacitances are neglected okay and uh, we are uh, doing in uh, like normal almost at dc in the, for this circuit so for poles we know that we have to find like this is our way on like approach one so we know that the poles is uh, like to find the pole we ha we need to desensitize all the uh, all the uh, dependent sources like all the in independent sources and uh, uh, find the equivalent capacitance and resistance uh, 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 to a node okay so we can see that uh, in this node we have equivalent capacitance and resistance and we have to make this uh, to ground like this will be deactivated so what will be the looking in impedance here and looking in capacitance here so looking in capacitor is nothing but let c equivalent is cs only but looking in impedance is like this is finite okay and we are looking into this so the effective like equivalent equivalent impedance will be nothing but uh, 1 over gm parallel rs right because this is like you know the looking in impedance is here is 1 over gm so looking in impedance at this node is nothing but rs parallel on over uh, or on over j so pole is pole is at like this is negative half plane pole so this will be on over cs into on over gm parallel rs so this is the way and second way is nothing but you can do the kcl and kvls and find the like find the uh, transfer function as gm times on plus gm rx and here the rx is rs parallel on over scx okay scs okay scs into rd so from this uh, from this equation you can find the pole so this is the way to and uh, so uh, in in this two way you can find the zero uh, like uh, pole of this circuit now coming to the board plot okay so this is this is very much important like we will do the only magnitude plot okay board magnitude plot so i am so this is rd this is v out this is v in this is rs this is cx 
so intuitively we will find the bode plot okay intuitively so <coughs> so like at dc okay at dc the capacitor is open circuit right so what will be the gain the gain will be nothing but av will be okay okay on minute on okay uh, this will be the second approach so first approach will be so at 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 like at dc the gain is nothing but a gain of a common source amplifier with uh, degeneration okay so let let this is at this point okay but at at uh, at at infinity frequency so this is short circuit right at infinity frequency the capacitor is shorted so our circuit will look like this and this is v out this is rd so we know that uh, this circuit having a more gain than this circuit right we know that normal uh, common source amplifier with rd as load uh, having more gain than the common source amplifier with degeneration so we at like at uh, if uh, like at omega equals 0 the gain is less but at omega equal to infinity the gain is high so at omega equal to 0 the gain is here and let's say uh, this is higher so this will be this and we are talking about the mod of av okay mind you so so how this is how this possible like like we have we have a gain at uh, uh, omega equals 0 as lower okay but in the infinity frequency we have a higher gain what does it mean so this means we have a zero present at the higher frequency so our body plot will be look like this right so this will be our body plot right so this will be at lower like let's say avl and this is our av high okay av high so we, we we know that like this is the slope of plus 20 db per decade right so this point and this point so here our slope is increasing so there is a zero present here so this is our the this is the zero frequency right and then at uh, like infinity frequency our slope is again zero so there must be a pole so that the pole zero cancelling each other so our slope is become zero so there is a pole here so in this case we can see that our pole frequency uh, present at higher frequency and zero frequency present at uh, at a lower frequency okay so in this way you can find the body plot as well so if you if you do like if you solve this circuit and find the pole and zero you will get the same thing like you will find the pole at higher frequency and zero at lower frequency like we, we we can see that our pole frequency is at uh from 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 equation so pole like first zero was on over rscs and pole was on over gm parallel rs this is on y and uh, this is cs and we know that uh gm like on over gm is very very less impedance right like like around like let's say 50 ohm so the overall impedance on over let this is 50 and this is cs so this this pole this pole like this pole is at higher frequency we can see that like like uh, like this pole this pole is at higher frequency than this omega z right we can normally see this from this equation okay because there is uh, on over rscs and here we can approximately say that this is on over uh, gmcs okay as normally uh, gm like on over gm is very very less than rs okay so in this way you can find the pole zero intuitively and the body plot as well okay so this is the like this is the approaches okay thank you